Good morning. Um, I was talking to um, one of my friends in the Dream On class who also was a student in the original Down Deep. And, you know, this time of year, I'm always looking kind of at where I've been and where I want to go. And, you know, it just suddenly, in talking to her, brought to mind the reason I created the Down Deep to begin with. And, you know, I don't know if any of you have ever felt this way, but at the time I felt like, um, you know, with my artwork, that there was something that I was missing, that I felt like I was on the edge of a cliff and I needed to jump off, but like, I just couldn't do it and I couldn't figure out how to do it. And um, I suddenly realized that in my artwork, I was not telling my truth. And once I started to do that, you know, a whole new world opened up to me. And I also realized that I was, you know, like all artists, I was obsessed with it being good or being pretty. And, you know, that's not always the case. And if that's your in, um, intention, your stated goal for it to be pretty, then it leaves out room for a whole lot of other things. So uh, I pulled this journal out that I was working on in as my students in the Down Deep were working, and I thought I would show it to you. Um, this is newsprint. I'm as obsessed with newsprint because it's cheap, you know, it's not expensive. And let me make sure you guys can see the whole thing. Yeah. Um, and once you paint on newsprint and work it, it starts to feel like leather. So, just wanted to show you and as everyone else was working in the deep, I was too. And um, this one says the mask just doesn't fit anymore. And, and that was exactly how I was feeling. Um, this is around a class that I do in the down deep. Just turn the pages. This one says you can't pretend hard enough. And you know that's true, you can't pretend hard enough. You can't fool yourself when you realize that something's missing, or at least I couldn't. And, and so, you know, I kind of started on, um, on a journey. And, um, and it led me, <laughs> it led me here. So it's always fun to look back at the end of the year of, of you know, kind of where you've been and, and where you want to go. Um, this is a process I teach in the deep, and it says when ugly wins. And you know, the, the fact of the matter is, some things are ugly, some truths are ugly. Uh, not all of them, but some are, and you don't wanna leave those out. Just like every painting needs some black to ground it or a darker color, your life is grounded by, you know, the good things, the bad things, the joys, the griefs, all of that. Um, and you don't wanna leave any of it out, so. Um, that's my belief anyway. <laughs> this one's called Emotional Artifacts. And again, this is just newsprint. You guys may have seen this piece before. Feeling off balance. <laughs> and this one, you know, what if the joy is buried under all that crap? That's kind of what I started to feel like, like I need to get rid of some of that and figure out, you know, what's underneath it in order to pull all the parts of myself as an artist in. <laughs> Closing your eyes won't change anything. No, it won't. Um, that's why I think we have to really take a good, hard, deep look.
This one's called When Pigs Fly. <laughs> I guess this is around some of my resistance. <laughs> and this one was too, busy ignoring signs. You know, like ignoring signs that something, something else needed to happen. And that's it. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And you're taking a moment, um, you know, to look and see what you want to bring into the next year. And if what you're looking for is a way to jump off that cliff, um, go check out the Down Deep and see if that's something that, you know, calls to you, that resonates with you. Um, I hope you guys are having a, a great day. And um, thanks for listening.